Welcome to Best Bet. We are halfway through this season and there is more movement on the leaderboard. My name is Kiprios. And my name is Jimmy the Bag Man. Four weeks in, we have a leader who is 12 and 5, has hit 11 of his last 13 and wants that $4,000 prize. But there's a couple cappers hot on his tail. The excitement is heating up, Kip. Ooh, it is bubbling out here, Jimmy. We gave five cappers $1,000 each with the express interest of finding out who can make the most money with that. They got to make 25% of their bankroll bet on five picks every week. And whoever wins after eight weeks is going to win $4,000, Jimmy. And what a week it was, week four. At the top of the board, at the bottom of the board, a ton of movement. Why don't you talk to us about the fifth place finisher in week four? All right, listen, last week he was on top just two weeks ago. Noli knows lost $240.13. Yes, we call him the underachiever, but the unders got blown up and overtaken. He went one for four and lost a lot of money. We're gonna talk to him in a bit. In fourth, Bobano continues a very tough, tough streak, and he was down $141.20. How did the rest of the cappers look, Jimmy? Well, in third this week, Joe Madden had her first losing week of the contest, but still two and three looking very strong. She believed in Madison Bumgarner and ruled the consequences. If it wasn't for Bumgarner, it would have been a very, very big week for her, but Bumgarner hurt her. The Diamondbacks hurt her in second spot on the week. Hunter Engelhart. We had four of our players down a hundred plus dollars but one man cabbie stood above them all. Now, back to back, three and one weeks on the heels of a five and oh week. The man is running hot, 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 and he's joining us today. But let's take a look at the overall standings, Kip. All right, in fifth place, we got Bobano with $270.80. In fourth is Hunter Englehart with $330.45. In third, now dropping down, is Noli Nose in $732.91. She was on top for two weeks, but now finds herself in second is Joe Madden with $1,290.80. And now in number one, Dabby Cab with $1,439.21. Let's bring these two in right now sitting in first place dabby cab and in third place noli knows joining the show welcome fellas we are live with noli knows aka the underachiever who got touched up a little bit last week but the man who was on fire dabra kadabra now with 148 dollars and 41 cent lead over the competition week one he goes down 227 dollars week two he goes five and oh and he's three and one in back-to-back weeks we know he's the hottest capper in the game right now but i want to know where are you this looks like some secret mission where are we at cab yeah yeah so i wasn't abducted or anything like that um Vegas is behind me. I wish I could show it to everyone, but you know the lighting is not the uh, not the ideal thing for the shot. So I'm in Vegas right now with uh, Vic, my producer, who's here with me, and Dutch Boy Fresh. He lives here, but shout out to him, man. We're doing our thing for uh, Pub Sports Radio with the Daily Sesh. It's awesome, man. It's Vegas. You guys know the deal. Very nice. Well, listen, are you're hot right now? What are you doing, and what are you seeing so well that is getting you paid? Okay, for me, man, what uh, has been working. And I hope because, you know, it's a double edged sword like this could ease what I've been doing could very easily um, have had the opposite effect. But I've been doubling and even in some cases tripling on games. Um, So for my five bets, when I when I look at it and I attack the card, I shorten that down to either two or three games, which, you know, isn't isn't five different teams and everybody caps differently. But for me, I like to. I like to focus in on what I what I feel best about instead of trying to spread it all out all over the place. Cab, you've been very impressive. Uh, that Thank brown you. curtain behind you, not so impressive. <laughs> but overall, you've been very impressive. Impressive. Noli knows. Uh, you know, Noli, your love for unders is well documented, and uh, you've gained new nicknames because of it. Kiprios has called you uh, the underachiever. I think he was reaching a little last week when he called you the underwearer. I think that might, oh. 
<laughs> that might be a little reach. But, you know, I, if, if, if your unders inspire Kiprios, and that is a lot of fun. What are the main things that you look for to focus on first five more than full games? Talk to us. Let us know about your uh, why you love unders and what are the main points that you look for when you bet them? Yeah, I think uh, ultimately when I bet unders, I just like to see good fundamentals, good defense, good pitching, everybody doing their job. And I, I reiterate it, if everybody does their job, I believe the games, all games should stay under the total. I like to see good pitching. I like to see good teams. But sometimes I do have to bet these bad teams because they simply can't hit. So a big emphasis for me is going to be the hitting and also ballpark factors. So if I'm going to take ballpark factors into account, I'm going to be betting full game. But if I'm not taking that to account and maybe the wind's blowing out and that fears me i might adjust to a first five also the bullpen situations we got some great bullpens we got some not so great bullpens and so sometimes you don't know who's coming out of the pin you might want to attack the first five a lot more me percy this year i've noticed a lot more full games going under the total so i've adjusted with that i like i'd like to go first five but some of these teams you look at like houston astros at home they're profitable to the over first five but full game profitable to the under so what's that mean live betting unders with that team that's what that means but Full game has been a lot different this year, and I just try to adjust with the game. You started white hot, Noli, and uh, things are slipping. But your call on Shane Bieber this past week was extremely impressive. I look at his loss of velocity and think, wow, he's so susceptible. Can you just touch on why you still back Bieber, even though his fastball is being hit at over 300? Yeah, he does. The fastball is a concern. But what I look at is the whiff rate swing and misses out of the zone. And he leads the MLB in that. If you watch this guy pitch, you'll see how many guys are swinging at balls in the dirt. Balls that are bouncing a foot or two in front of the plate. And that's hard to do with the, against major league pitchers. So all in all, I just, I've just i seen guys with low velocity get it done. Greg Maddox particular. And a guy that was just dominant, even with low velocity. And I see similar characteristics here with Bieber being how well he spots the ball and his pitch usage. He understands how to set you up. And that's something that I've seen. Unfortunately, gave up that first inning run. Cost me there. I got a little cute. Only the second run... He's given up in the first inning all year. So, hey, I'll do it again, though. Yeah, that was a tough break. That was your biggest bet of the week, the no-run first thing. You did catch the full game under. It is retribution time. It is retribution time. Dabby, your glorious success has allowed you to deliver a punishment to Noli, the underwear knows. <laughs> What is the punishment that you have uh, come up with for him? Okay, so I have to say this again. I know I told you guys this a, a little bit ago, but I have a ton of respect for Noli, and uh, I'm going to just leave it at that. He's a wonderful, wonderful capper, um, somebody that I've looked up to in capping. And his take on that, if teams do their job, the game goes under. As a baseball player, that's man, it, it made so much sense when I heard that. I love that. If the teams do their job, the game's going to go under. I love that. But – uh on the Betribution, man, uh, we're going to do a donation to a charity. Uh, Roberto's kids, we all found it together. They take uh, uh, baseball, like baseball gloves, bats, uh, unused baseball equipment, and they send it to Latin American countries and places where people might not be able to afford that stuff. Baseball is not a cheap sport, so uh, it, it's an awesome thing to be able to help people that want to play. There you have it. That is good. Roberto's kids, Noli Knows Unders, will be making a charitable donation to Roberto Clemente's organization. Noli, now on to how can we make some people at home some money. What are you circling for Wednesday? And have you got a sure shot for the good folks at Best Bet? Yeah, I mean, uh, looking looking ahead is a little difficult sometimes. We don't have these lines, but this is hard for me to ignore. You see the background. You see where I'm at. I'm a Dodger fan, but the numbers are why I'm on this game. I'm going to be taking the Dodgers tomorrow, probably on the first five, minus a half. Julio Urias has been 
dominant against these giants career era of 2.27 a whip of 1.084 and 140 at bats the san francisco giants have 30 hits that's a 0 94 batting average a 127 on base and a 180 slugging not going to get it done. On the other side, Alex Cobb, the guy, advanced metrics, says he has soft contact, but he's given up four runs every time. And that's what he gave up last time when he faced these Dodgers. And this is the hottest team in baseball. I'm riding with the Dodgers tomorrow as my sure shot. Oh, yes. And the Dodgers. Dabby Cab, you are running so hot right now. You are 11 of your last 13 bets cashed. What is your sure shot for the fans of best bet? Okay. So I'll uh, repeat, I'll, I'll repeat what he just said without the lines. It's hard because what I like might have horrible juice, but we'll have to see what it is. I might be able to take a minus one. Otani's on the mound tomorrow. And uh, anybody who's heard me talk about Otani, I have, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. A, uh, a love for Otani's way that he plays the game. Nobody does it like this guy. He's cash bets for me multiple times this year where he scored the runs and did the pitching all by himself. And it's so weird to think that somebody did it by themselves multiple times. Otani, he's just, he's a once in a generation talent. And uh, I'm going to be, I'll be on Otani some way, shape or form. Probably the first five um, might have to be a minus one because of the juice. But like I said, we'll figure that out when the lines come Otani tomorrow with the angels. That's, that's where I'm at. And you've tracked your season long record with Otani first fives. What is it now at? Uh, seven and three. I need to double check that, but I think it's seven and three with them. So seven and three. Harvest is the only one who's above Otani. Those are my two most profitable pitchers right now. I like it. I like it. Here we go. We are halfway through best bet season three, $4,000 up for grabs. And Noli, you had a tough week, but you're sitting 10 and 10, just down $267. Cabby up 439. The difference is not that big. You can get back in this, and Dabby Cabby knows he's got to deliver the goods to keep the lead. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Both of you guys are just great, great cappers and great guys. Thank you for rolling with best bet, and good luck in week five. Thank you, fellas. Thank you, guys. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. A couple of great, great guys. Dabby Cab and Noli Knows. Noli Knows will be donating to the Clemente Foundation. What a great cause. Last, last week's punishment was not that great of a cause, but it did put a smile on our faces. Hunter Englehart had to find a street corner, take a picture with a sign saying that I lost on best bet. And here it is in all its glory. That looks like a safe street corner. I imagine that my five-year-old and two-year-old would have produced a better looking sign, but that's not important. Not important at all. That he stayed safe and got us the shot. We love you, Hunter Engelhart, very, very much. And now it's time for our sure shots, Kip. It is our turn, and you've gone undefeated. You pushed last week. You are running very, very hot in season three of Best Bet Sure Shots. Where can our friends and fans get that cash this week? Let's keep it 100 and keep it in the diamond. We'll go with the Padre Snell getting his start at home. His last two home starts, 12 innings pitched, two earned runs, 18 Ks and three walks. I'm going to take the run line and the Padres after the trade deal. Jimmy. A mighty fine handicap for one of the greats, they say. You've run a little cold as of late, even though a lot of people don't know you've been kind of helping me with some of mine. So we have to still give you a little tap and pat on the shoulder and give you some love and some confidence. How are you going to bump the schneid and get back to black this week? Well, I'm going to stay in the CFL. Yes, the Rough Riders hurt me badly the last two weeks in a row. One week we had the COVID excuse with the team riddled with the virus. But this past week, they're up 17-4 and couldn't seal the deal against the BC Lions. All week, last week, I said that the Ottawa Red Blacks were the best 0-6 team in CFL history. What'd they do? They beat the Argos in Toronto 23-13, outright favorites when they opened as a five-and-a-half-point dog. I'm backing them again here at home. 
plus six at minus 105 against the Calgary Stampeders. Six points for this Red Blacks team. The Stamps aren't that good. Now they travel across the country against a Red Blacks team that finally has some confidence. I'm on the Ottawa Red Blacks, plus six at minus 105 to get that cash kit because that's the main thing. That's the number one thing for me. It's not, it's even more important than entertainment. It's that you guys get paid in full and your breakdowns and analysis of games are helped by ours. Kip, that's the main thing for me. Are we going to get them that cash this week? Pretty sure we are for gaming today. We are living on a prayer and these players are a halfway there, Jimmy. For gaming today, somebody's going to win that 4K on best bet. My name is Kipri Os. My name is Jimmy the Bag. Go out there and get that cash. Get paid in full.